Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Charlotte Motor Speedway. My name's Doug Rice. I am the president and lead anchor for the Performance Racing Network, which we're based right here at CMS. Honored to have everyone here in attendance today. Uh, I am a blessed person that the last 36 years to report to work, I've had to drive up to this wonderful facility, and there has not been a time, okay, maybe one or two, that I haven't driven up here that I didn't appreciate that I'm coming to such a special place, a place that it provides entertainment and joy for a lot of people, and some of the great, greatest racing in the history of this sport has happened here today. So it is with equal excitement that I announced today, and I've done a lot of announcing here, something that I'm personally and everyone in this room is extremely excited about and our sense of anticipation is very, very high. And to help me uh, announce this today, we have an amazing lineup of folks who love the motorsports industry and all it entails. You will hear later on today from Greg Walter, Chairman of the Board of the North Carolina Motorsports Association and Executive Vice President and General Manager here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Also also, Scott Lampy, the NCMA Vice Chairman and Hendrick Motorsports CFO is here. The Honorable Mayor Bill Duss of Concord, North Carolina, and we're glad to have you here, Mayor. Thank you very much for your attendance. We appreciate that today. And finally, wrapping this up today will be Jen Heinold, the President of HPX and Taffy Event Strategies. And to start it off, I want to introduce the Chairman of the Board, Mr. Greg Walter. Greg, it's all yours, sir. Well, good morning, everyone. Um, on behalf of Marcus Smith, the Smith family, um, our Charlotte Motor Speedway team, and the North Carolina Motorsports Association, thank you so much for being here. Uh, it is a great backdrop that we have a at least three, four decade old auto car show with Auto Fair on, going on behind us, and then the new Smith Heritage Invitational because it celebrates everything about the automobile and the automobile culture that, that we all love. I hear so often people talk about the car culture is declining. And you look out here and you see what's going to happen this weekend, and nothing could be further from the truth. So we're excited you guys are here today. I'm a couple of VIPs that I want to acknowledge in the audience. Um, first of all, Larry McReynolds, NASCAR crew chief, NASCAR analyst on Fox and Sirius XM. Larry, where are you? Thank you for being here, my friend. You're always a great friend of the track, and we always appreciate your enthusiasm for what we do. Um, Mayor, I know we've acknowledged you, but on a personal level, thank you. Um, got to know the mayor really well during the pandemic, and we worked together to do things for this community, um, things that were best for the region, and we led the way in many cases. So thank you for your leadership and certainly your enthusiasm for motorsports and tourism. Ralph Shaheen, I was told you were in the audience. Is Ralph here? All right, well, maybe not. I've known Ralph since the earth was cooling, and so I was told he was going to make a, make, a, make a stop. But what we want to talk about today will become an industry-changing announcement and a first for our region. As current chair of the North Carolina Motorsports Association, and on behalf of the entire NCMA Board of Directors, we are incredibly excited to announce that in June of 2025, Charlotte will be hosting the first ever High Performance Expo, a business and consumer event that will bring together the automotive aftermarket community for a variety of racing and car-centric lifestyle events in and around the Charlotte area. The inaugural High Performance Expo, or HBX as you will see it written or referenced later on, will be held June 3rd through 5th, 2025, at the Charlotte Convention Center, followed by area-wide enthusiast activities that will extend as far out as the Speedway. If you haven't picked up on it already, when events happen in our community, it's not one county versus the other, it is the region. And we work together so well to punch way above our weight class to bring world-class events to this area. Charlotte has long been the heart of the auto racing industry with a community rich in history and passion for modifying and racing the automobile. And we're proud to launch this event to this very deserving community. HPX will be focused on the lucrative automotive aftermarket and will have something for everyone. Professional race teams, manufacturers of new cars, high performance parts, retail performance shops, industry experts, and like those behind me, 
enthusiast. HPX is the gateway to the next level in the world of high octane racing and automotive performance. This first ever regional event is bolstered by the strong support of the NCMA and civic leadership in the region and produced by our friends and the experts at Taffy Event Strategies. As a matter of fact, when we began to consider this endeavor, the NCMA Board of Directors voted unanimously to support this endeavor because we found the right partner in Taffy Events to make it happen. There are several people in the audience I want to acknowledge and thank who have been instrumental in bringing this effort to fruition. First of all, David Miller. David, where are you? Uh, David, um, you have had this idea about a trade show, among others, and you have beat the drum for a long time. So I know we are all excited that this is finally coming together because it, it makes perfect sense and the time is right. Um, our, my fellow board members from the North Carolina Motorsports Association, if I miss your name, I will ask for grace and forgiveness because I had a list here and some of you walked in after the fact. So like Pat Wood, Pat, I'd see you walk in always right at the last minute. Um, John Hondros and Tyler Bowery from, Bowery from Truist Bank. John Dodson from NASCAR Technical Institute. Rebecca Moffitt from Richard Patty Motorsports. Patrick Rogers from NASCAR. Ali Starnes from Muddy Creek Experiential. Winston Kelly, Executive Director of the NASCAR Hall of Fame. And my buddy Scott Lampy, CFO Hendrick Motorsports. If I missed you, I apologize. There are a lot of members of this board who've been enthusiastic about this event, and I am grateful for their friendship and leadership and selflessness in doing everything to make this come together. The board also wants to thank um, Jennifer Hoff, founder and CEO of Taffy Event Strategies. Thank you. Um, Dana Teague, General Manager of the High Performance Expo. Ned Blair, Samantha Green Ewald from Visit North Carolina, from Visit Charlotte, sorry. Shannon McDaniel from the Expo Group. And Leslie Klutz from the Charlotte Convention Center. I hope after today that you will feel the excitement and the possibility for what is possible in this community with the High Performance Expo. Thank you for being here. Doug? Thank you very much. Appreciate that, Greg. And uh, this is such a cool announcement, and we have such a wonderful crowd here. So thank you very much. It is time now for us to bring up uh, Scott Lampy. You heard Greg reference him just a moment ago. And Scott, if you can approach the stage, we appreciate that. And uh, here representing, of course, not just the North Carolina Motorsports Association, but he's also the CFO for Hendrick Motorsports. Thanks, Doug. It's uh, always a pleasure to be here. Uh, this is one of my favorite places to come every spring. You sort of know it's spring uh, when you drive around and you see the auto fair come to town. You see the, the uh, trees are coming alive and, and you know it's racing season is really getting underway. Uh, we've had certainly had uh, an exciting start to the year at Hendrick Motorsports. Uh, Maybe almost as exciting as this. We'll see. You can be. I'll let you be the judge of Daytona 500 or HPX. And uh, but just the fact that you know we talk about those things together, I think, speaks to how big this is. The NCMA was founded by Richard Petty and Rick Hendrick, my boss, uh, the trustees and trustees emeritus for the NCMA. And really, ever since the beginning, the idea of a trade show was part of that. Um, and we are certainly proud uh, that we can finally make that announcement today. Uh, with the support of the NCMA and the Charlotte region, uh, HPX is going to be a massive success, something the entire industry will be focused on. I've already sort of hinted around some of my colleagues in the industry, uh, and the buzz is already starting. So we are we're excited about that. Um, this is going to be an opportunity to connect our industry, our community, and certainly our passionate fans. Uh, HPX 2025 is where the best in the business will meet to push the boundaries of automotive racing innovation and technology. Uh, we'll celebrate this great industry through the lens of our unique community, bringing a level of authenticity featuring VIPs, drivers, celebrities, David Miller, and experts <laughs> Uh, and only a place like Charlotte can you do something like that, and we are very excited. 
Uh, we're certainly hopeful, we, and we believe the auto manufacturers, Ford, Chevrolet, uh, my personal favorite, uh, Toyotas and, and Honda, we, they can come too, uh, and their local dealers will be out to support that. Uh, we are, we want to be an industry uh, that is inclusive and where everybody feels they can be part of this wonderful community. I uh, can't really get into a lot more specifics than that right now. Uh, but Taffy and, and the team have a lot of great things coming, and we're looking forward to that. And uh, looking forward to seeing you at the show. So thank you very much, and back to you, Doug. Thank you very much, Scott. As most of you know, if you've had your television on for more than 30 seconds over the last month, we have sports betting now in North Carolina. If you took the under 30 seconds before Scott mentioned that Hendrick Motorsports won the Daytona 500, you're a winner, so congratulations. You guys are off to a heck of a start this year. So we'll pay out after the meeting is over. Uh, of course, uh, this is a high performance event that we're talking about. And we're blessed to live in a high performance community here of Concord, North Carolina. So with that backdrop, it is my honor to introduce the Honorable Mayor Bill Dush of the city of Concord. Come on up, Your Honor. Appreciate you being here. Thank you, Doug. Uh, you know, I, I've been around this area for about uh, many years, my whole life. And in 1960, I went to my first race. I went to the 300. My father wouldn't let me go to the 600. He said, that's too much for me. So we went to the 300, the infield. And uh, so when, when I'm up here talking about what's going on here, it's not just me saying from being a mayor, it's from having been exposed to this for my whole life. So I welcome you to Concord. This is the next edition of our diverse and growing economy. For over 60 years, motorsports has been an integral part of our community heritage and one of the main engines driving us as we move forward. Each year, we welcome more than 1.2 million visitors from across the country and around the world. They come to our track. They want to see what's going on, the industries that we serve, and the competitors have been integral in sustained growth for our city and our region. Greg's comment about the region, that's how we operate. We don't do it as a city of Concord, a city of Kannapolis, Cabarrus County. We do it together with the city of Charlotte. This is how we move forward and we'll continue to move forward. As mayor, I've observed firsthand how Charlotte Motor Speedway and motorsports in general have been adept and continual improvement through innovation and growth to our community. Like we saw what you see here, as we talked about, go to Hendrix Motorsports. And uh, right, just right down the street, 1,200 employees that are all in, in high-end uh, business businesses. We're so proud to have them as part of our community. The technology and resources in this area is incredible. The High Performance Expo is a natural for our community. With the predisposition of hospitality and bringing visitors to the area, coupled with the industry innovation that exists here, we're excited to show the world what, all, what, we, what this area has to offer. Thank you for being here today, and we're looking forward to HPX in June of 2025. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mayor. Appreciate those kind remarks. And if you forget what city we're in, all you have to do is look on the water tower across the way. So it's pretty big, pretty, pretty, yeah, strategically placed. And, uh, nice work on that, by the way. Uh, up next, and our final speaker of the day, uh, it is now my honor to introduce Jen Heinold, president of HPX and Taffy Event Strategies. And they're the groups that are going to bring this fabulous event to life. Jen, come on up, please. Thanks, Doug, for the kind introduction, and thank you to the cities of Charlotte and Concord, North Carolina, and the Charlotte Motor Speedway for your warm welcome and hospitality today. This show is more than a year in the making. From the earliest conversations, one thing was very clear. There is a need and desire for the Southeast to have its own automotive aftermarket trade show, and I am so excited to work with the NCMA and local racing community
to bring the High Performance Expo to life here in Charlotte. At Taffy Event Strategies, we build live experiences and events around communities. There is something really special about the racing community in Charlotte and the southeastern United States. It's authentic, passionate, with superior sportsmanship and champion drive. Simply put, this community deserves an event to call their own. The High Performance Expo is being built with this community in mind. HPX will be the most relevant and worthwhile event for the automotive aftermarket industry, enthusiast, and consumer. We are proud and honored to partner with the NCMA to design the highest caliber trade show and reinforce the critical role that North Carolina plays in the motorsports arena. HPX will showcase the big names you would expect and others who have never been given the chance to share their knowledge and advice with the automotive industry. HPX will deliver a progressive event format with interactive activations, relevant educational program, business networking opportunities, and experiences you won't be able to get anywhere else. We are announcing the show today, but in the coming months, we'll be sharing a lot of news and updates about HPX. You can go to thehpx.com to sign up for more information and follow our social channels to get the latest news and updates on HPX. But more than just following the conversation, we'd love for you to be a part of it. My team's contact information is on our website, and we invite interested companies and individuals to reach out to us. Your involvement will only make us better. I thank you all for the opportunity to share the exciting news about the launch at HPX. And I look forward to having you all join us here in the Charlotte region for the first ever HPX and many more. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Jen. Sounds like this is all in very capable hands. I want to thank all of our speakers today for giving their time and lending their expertise to this upcoming project. Of course, that includes Greg Walter, Scott Lampy, Mayor, always a pleasure to have you here. Thanks so much. And Jen, we appreciate you getting up and speaking on behalf of HBX today. Uh, for the media contingent that are here, and there are quite a few, as we can see by all the cameras, please stick around at the conclusion of the program. You'll have a chance to chat with the principals. Thanks a lot to our gracious host here at Charlotte Motor Speedway for putting this on today. And that concludes our event. Once again, for media members, uh, you're welcome to stick around and interview the principals today. Thank you very much for being a part of this uh, wonderful announcement. Thank you.